If you are a Power BI developer, then I'm sure you are connecting to Microsoft Excel files. Connecting to Excel file is pretty easy and I'm sure you can do it easily. But what if there is hidden tab and you want to get the data from there? If you are going to follow the conventional rules, you cannot get that one. So in this video, I'm going to let you know how you can get the data from any hidden sheets or files from your Excel file. So if you would like to know more, stay tuned with me till the end of this video. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create all the contents on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you are new over here, then please don't forget to subscribe this channel to stay up to date for all our videos and updates. Now let's head over to my laptop and I'm going to let you know how to connect to the hidden files or hidden sheets of your Microsoft Excel file. In order to achieve that, first of all, you have to open your Microsoft Power BI desktop app. So as you can see, right now I'm on my Microsoft Power BI desktop app. Over here, we have to get the data. Now we would like to get the data from this adventure box Excel file. And if I'll open this file, like I have opened already over here. So dim customer table is not over here. And dim date is also not over here. Both are in the hidden state. And if I'm going to try to get the data from this file, it won't be easy. First of all, guys, if you are collaborating data in Excel files or in CSV files or any other files, try to put them on SharePoint or the same location if you cannot put them into your database. Now, once you have your files or they're on SharePoint or OneDrive, then I'm going to let you know quickly that how you can easily get the data from those files into your Power BI. Now, first you have to select the file. Once you select the file, you have to come on this I button over here. You have to scroll down and there you are going to find this path. So just copy this path and after that, go to your Microsoft Power BI desktop. Here, you have to get the data. So to get the data from SharePoint or OneDrive, first of all, you have to get the data using web connector. So I'll just click on this and I'm going to get the data from web. Now you have this. Now we are going to paste the file path that we just copied and hit OK button. Now you can see that it's navigating over there and you can also clearly see that dim customer or dim date table is not over here. So it would be very difficult for you to get those hidden files over here. The trick is, first of all, you have to select any of the file that is visible and then go to the Power Query editor. For that, first I'm going to select dim employee table over here or the Excel sheet. And then I'm going to click on this transform data tab. So let's see what's going to happen over here. It would take certain time to load the file and to open the Power Query editor. Once it opens, you can see that dim employee table is over here. So now you can see that the file or the sheet has been opened into your Power Query editor. Now what you have to do, you have to simply go to the first option in the applied step, that means source. So now over here, you can see all the different sheets present in that workbook or Excel files are listed over here. Now I can simply go over here and I can filter on dim customer, which was my desired Excel file or the sheet that I want to work with. So click on OK. Now you can see that our dim customer is over here, but also we have to delete the other two steps from there. So let me delete it from here and this one. Over here, you can see that now your desired sheet or the file is over here, which is our dim customer. Now you can simply click over here on table name and it's gonna expand it automatically. So that means all the steps are gonna complete over here automatically. Or you can also do them manually if you are working with Power BI, you know easily that how to work on it. That's all we need to do in order to get the data from any of the hidden sheets from Excel into Power BI. If you have any question and concern, please don't forget to let us know. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.